Hello and welcome to MB Tech. My name is Matthew Bingham and today we'll be talking about monitoring solutions and the one specifically I'll be talking about this time is the Nagios uh, open source, uh, it's called Nagios Core. Um, we'll go through setting that up as well as kind of customizing it and then being able to put your own logo in there. Um, so that's basically the steps that we will be doing today and as I mentioned we'll be doing the Nagios Core with some modifications uh, to make it look a little bit prettier. Okay, first thing that you need to do is download the Nagios Core. Once the Nagios Core is downloaded, you'll also need to go over and download the Nagios plugins. Uh, basically, plugins give you uh, different types of, uh, I guess you could say templates or different types of additional things that you can monitor uh, using Nagios. So it's great to have those plugins and then you can get more information uh, off from the different types of systems you have and different devices and stuff like that throughout your network. Um, so once those two files are downloaded, you need to make sure that they're on your Linux box. And once you have your Linux box, uh, as I mentioned, mine's the CentOS uh, 7. Uh, make sure your system's completely up to date. So just do a regular yum update. Okay, everything looks good there. Do a yum upgrade as well. Make sure. So we are up to the latest and greatest. You can see we're running 7.8. Um, so we are really at the cutting edge. Okay, as you can see, I have the Nagios 4.4.6.tar gzip and the Nagios plugins 2.3.3.tar gzip files on this system. Um, one thing that is different about Nagios compared to other ones and stuff like that, you're actually going to have to do a lot of build commands. Um, so if you've never built a system before from source code and stuff like that, this is one of the monitoring systems that you do have to build from source. It's not an RPM. Uh, there may be some RPMs out there, but I always find it best to do it from source. That way you get the latest and greatest. Um, so there may be uh, some issues that you have if you've never actually worked with the, the tools and stuff like that within uh, Linux to build this out. Um, but we'll try to make it as easy as possible and hopefully you won't have any errors. Okay, you're going to have to install a, a couple of these packages. These will be in the uh, information or on my website. Uh, basically, it's the GCC libs and, and uh, graphic uh, modules for that. So uh, GD, GD development, make and stuff like that. So let's install those. Here, we're just going to do a yum update just to make sure everything's good to go. So everything looks good there. Just going to make, add some more packages here just to make sure we're good to go. And now we're going to... Uh, now we're going to unzip the file. The Nagios 4.4.6 tar. And okay, now that we're into the unzip directory, we're going to run a configure command. And this basically tells us the options uh, that have been selected from that configure command. Next, we're going to do a make all. This makes all of the different uh, uh, components up for this uh, system. Okay, next we're actually going to uh, run the make install groups users. What this does is it creates a user. Um, you may see some other documentation where it has you create like a uh, Nagios user, Nagios group, and stuff like that. So we're going to uh, 
make the user so it tells you kind of what it is group added r nadios user added uh, group nadios nadios um, one thing we do need to do is a uh, user mod we need to add to the group uh, nadios Apache that's basically our, our web server for that. So basically it adds Apache into the Nagios group. Okay, we did the make all. Now we're going to do the make install. And here it basically tells you what you need to run. You know, fine. You can continue with installation. Nagios follows type make without any of the arguments. Uh, for a list of all the possible options but it has your init your your uh, command mode and your install config and all sorts of stuff so we'll be going down through these so now i'll do the make install uh daemon uh it all right And we're going to enable the HTTPD service. We'll also be doing the make install command mode. Install config. web config and then now we'll set a password for the Nagios admin so our password uh, for Nagios admin this is where we'll be uh, putting in for the login information once we hit the website once it's up Start the HTTPD service. And we're going to start the Nagio servers. So at this point, we should be able to go to our website, um, but we'll not be doing much because we need to get some more things into this, but let's just see if we can get to it. Okay, so it's asking for us for our login. And I'm able to log in. Okay, so we got the basic Nagios core uh, front end. Uh, this is not one of, you know, it's highly customizable, but this this uh, logo has actually been there, uh, I think, from the very beginning. Nagios core. I can't even remember how many years it's been since I've been on there. Um, but I did find a uh, very adaptable front end uh, that makes it much more prettier, more cleaner, and stuff like that. Uh, it is located on the uh, Nagios uh, downloads. And if you go to front ends, uh, the one we'll actually be in, uh, installing is uh, Voucher, uh, Voucher, Voucher. Um, that will be the uh, uh, front end that we're going to be installing onto the system. Um, it's been, uh, it's pretty old, but it, it still it works on the Nagios 4.x. Um, so we'll be installing that as well uh, onto the system. Uh, also going to customize the logo to uh, suit you know your needs my needs uh, whoever's needs uh, we need to do for that um, so let's go back to 
our uh, directory here. We're going to change directories back to the setup list, and then we can see we got our Nagios plugins. Um, so we will go uh, and extract that. Okay, we're going to install some more modules like SNMP and some other stuff uh, here. So we're going to just verify that all this stuff is in place. Let's see, yes. Oops. Okay. So we have those files as well. We also want to make sure that we have the Perl net SNMP. Okay, next we are going to untar the Nagios plugins. And we're going to change directories into that directory. So as you can see we are in that directory now. And we are going to do a configure. Next, we are going to do a make. Uh, make install. Okay, now the Nagios plugin should be installed. Um, let's go back to our server real quick here. Do a refresh. Okay, we can see that we've got uh, these things here, and then we'll just reschedule these. Basically, we just need to have it have it catch up um, like I said I'm just rescheduling these Now the HTTP, you're going to see a warning here, and basically what this is, is it cannot find an index file. Um, so you can create an index file, uh, and that will get rid of this. It's going to do that with an easy touch command. That'll create the file, and then we'll also do a change mod uh, to change that file. And then if we go back here, 
and we refresh it or reschedule it. See, we're all in the green now, so it's able to get to that uh, index file and do an OK basically for that file. So we're all in the green, so everything looks good for this host. And everything looks up, and we're all OKs, no warnings, and everything looks good. Now, as I mentioned, there is the uh, front end that we're going to change out on this to make it a little bit more appealing, and then we're going to change the logo as, as well uh, for this system. Um, so let's go back to the box itself and the uh, command line. So the uh, Vitour styling.zip. Okay, now we're going to uh, do a wget. And we're going to download the front end. This Vitour styled front end. Um, you can just right click on it and get the uh, copy link. And then just do a wget. Bring that file down. So we have that. Now that we have the uh, style or the front end downloaded, uh, we're actually going to unzip it. We're going to unzip it into the uh, Nagio share uh, folder. So that'll be unzip the style, of, I'm sorry, unzip the zip file into the user local Nagio share. And it wants to know do we want to uh, replace all that? We're going to say yes, A to all. So it's basically changed out all of that information. Okay, I've also created a uh, custom logo for MB Tech for my uh, Nagios instance. So basically we will do a, a quick uh, copy of that logo to the uh, Nagios Share Images interface. And we want to replace what's there. And then we're gonna do a Nagios restart. And then now we can go back to our website Okay, as you can see now, logo's been put into place, got a much more cleaner, uh, clearer type of core interface, um, and it's pretty much ready to go now. Uh, next step will be to actually add another uh, server to manage, um, but I just wanted to get this basic interface up. Uh, this will be a real short uh, series of probably about three parts. Um, this is just part one, setting up the core, uh, getting the interface looking good, and then we'll go into the configuration of other servers. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe. Goal is to get almost a thousand subscribers. I think I'm close to 800 right now. Um, so I'd like to keep it up and I will talk to you later. Thank you for tuning in.